Hi, my name is Ron Walsh. I'm uh, 59 years old. I'm blind, and now I'm the blind adventurer. I, I laugh every time I say that. And I think I do more things than the average person, and I definitely do more than the average blind person. I started going blind when I was about 22, and I really quit driving when I was 32. As I lost my sight, I met people that were very adventurous, that went out and did all kinds of things. Well, I probably started doing more physical holidays than in the past. I had a snowmobile and motorcycle and did all that, but after I turned 32 and kind of quit driving, I took up more physical fitness things. I got a canoe and started cycling and got way more physically fit kind of the older I got. Straight ahead, plus three steps. That's who I am. I want to do these things, and if there's any way of doing it, I kind of read all the instructions and talk to people that know what they're doing. And lots of times, there's you can do it. Uh, I can't do it all, but there's definitely definitely things I can do if uh, if you look at it long and hard enough. There's a way of doing it. We're doing some sailing. It's been pretty fun. Uh, they sent me out on a boat by myself with an instructor uh, in a boat beside me. I can cruise right along. I know people in Vancouver that uh, do some racing on the ocean. There's, they have four uh, people on a boat, two people are blind and two are sighted. So I heard about that and I thought uh, this would be interesting. This is actually my first time instructing somebody who's blind. Um, so it was interesting just like figuring out what works and what doesn't work. So following the motor, following noises has been something that's helpful where I used to say, pull in the red rope. It's like, oh, pull in the rope in the middle of the boat or like, um, or yeah, you gotta, do you feel where the wind is? Because you can't, you can't just see the sail flapping or you can't see the way that it's filling backwards. So you have to really be aware of the sounds and the, um, the direction or what you feel of the wind on your face and stuff like that. So that was interesting learning about that. Alright, let's go upwind again. So sail towards me. Yep, yeah, and pull in your sail as you go. And then you're gonna straighten it out. Alright, away from me a little. <laughs> well, it works great because it's tough to find exactly where that wind is. Yeah. <laughs> and she can kind of see the sail and see the, how it's performing and give me that little bit of left, right, and it really does help. I just think that, you know, there's so many great things that you can still do. And if you have an adventurous spirit, like I've seen Ron has, and I hope I have like them, but um, I just think that sailing's such an amazing, fun thing to do. And you really like learn a lot and you get to have that experience of being out on the water and like um, hanging out with a group. Um, that loves being outdoors. Uh, anybody can do it. The people that have disabilities definitely have uh, challenges, but in something like this, it's completely set up for people with disabilities. Uh, it's plenty safe, there's instructors, it's, it's really safe. So I tried out the, the 2.4, which is the disabled sailing boat for the first time. And I'm like, I'm gonna try going with my eyes closed, see like how difficult that is. So I just ended up going around in circles and I just couldn't figure out how to go to straight line. Like it's amazing how you use your sight so much to be able to figure out, you know, where the shore is and where you're pointing. And other than that, like it's hard to tell where the wind is on your face. So I was so amazed by the way that Ron was able to figure that out and, you know, mostly stay on the breeze. Cause when I close my eyes, I was, I was going around in circles. Okay, there's a step off, stop. Use your poles. That was cool. Step down, there's a small step, and then another big step. There you go. Well, and having been around people that know what they're doing, uh, qualified well, people down. like, uh, Tyler was my guide in Alaska. He works in the bush all the time. So he knows what he's doing and uh, yeah, he's pretty confident in, in, in the bush. So when you want people to know what they're doing, it gives you a little more confidence too. Uh, last June I did a uh, hike from Alaska to British Columbia. 
It was uh, 57 kilometers over the Pacific Coast Mountains. Uh, that was tough. That was six days. It was uh, carrying your backpack, and it was tough. You're a great man. Come towards me. It kind of flattens out a little bit. Um, officially, I'm the third blind person to ever do the trip, and they get around 3,000 people a summer. It was an adventure, for sure. Stop! You want to get that paddle planted in by your feet, nice and forward. A good rotation coming from the hips. So you get a nice, good reach, solid anchor. Pull the boat to the paddle. Uh, so look for all He came to the store where I work, Ebb Source for Adventure. He was looking for a ski jacket to wear to a race that he was doing. And by the way, I've signed up for the marathon division, Saskatoon Canoe Club. And I said, well, it's not funny because I happen to be the director. <laughs> As I lost my sight, I met people that were very adventurous that went out and did all kinds of things. So it's like there's uh, different ways of doing things like the canoeing. I'm the only person that's ever been in this canoe club, but there's really no reason why there shouldn't be lots of people here. Uh, there's less things to hit and uh, it's good exercise. Okay, so we're getting close to shore here. Yeah. So we have to turn around. Okay. Well, I was all excited at first, and then I thought, oh, th this creates some really interesting possibilities for me because I have never had a blind paddler before in the club. And we thought it was actually quite exciting because not being able to see um, whoever Ron would go with would need to be very communicative and talk about what was going on with the boats, what the situation was, um, what you're trying to do together. I've had lots of instructions. Um, yeah, and it's really safe. Being on the river, there's lots of people around. I know how to swim. I wear a life jacket. And yeah, it's really safe. You want to bring us in on the side? On our right side? On the right side, yep. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I could not do a lot of this by myself. Uh, it's the only way I can do it. The, to try to do this all by myself would be scary, dangerous, and pretty tough at times. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's, there's some people, pretty adventurous people out there that will take on a blind guy job. to uh, risk my life and theirs. So <laughs> it's worked out pretty good so far. Watch it step. Another step, another step. Okay. Yeah, good, man. How'd that, that cool. feel? That was cool. Yeah, good. That was cool. <laughs> kind of shaky, eh? Yeah, we yeah. got to the middle, it was woo! <laughs> if you have program ideas that you'd like to see on Max TV Local On Demand, write us at max.local at sastel.com.